Morning folks, how are we doing? Um, we're here at the allotment, I haven't been here for about three weeks I think it is um, just because I got married, I've been on honeymoon and stuff like that so uh, I thought I'd give you a quick um, update of the plot so let's go Okay, so as you can see we still haven't progressed any further with the um, base for the new part of the shed it's very sturdy, that's not going anywhere all the cement is hardened um, so I need to get some more pallets and crack on with that really and then as we said before sort out the shed which I'll go through again another time lavender in here is doing fantastic mainly it's all good and the mint is doing all right and the strawberries are as well raspberries we're still getting plenty of raspberries so I'm gonna have a big harvest today I think just because there's quite a few going on now the allotment is in a state, I'm not going to lie, it's horrendous, got grass growing everywhere, it's just a mess, so today's plan is hopefully to try and sort it all out. So what I want to try and do today, I don't know if you can see this, is I want to try and sort out all the beds um, properly, get them ready for winter really, because I don't think there's much I'm going to be doing now over the winter. But here, this is where we had leaks and there seems to be more leaks coming. So I'm going to leave them um, just to see what happens with those. The kale has been eaten. That's not doing too bad actually. We might have some of this before we go. So uh, the... Oh my school. Asparagus is almost ready to be cut down, ready for a new year. And I'm going to box this off or something, I think, just so we can see it. And then when this is gone, gone. Raspberry plant has fallen over. Oh, that was wet. So raspberry plant's fallen over. Rhubarb, I'm going to cut all that down, harvest what we can. But we haven't had much of that this year at all. Clean the weeds out of this bed. Again, we've got loads of grass growing here. What I think I'm going to do... Just so I've got a bit more of a working area is take this bed out possibly this one and bring them down here and then just split the compost between all the other beds just to fill them back up just so I've got this bit done really I think they are my parsnips which I'm going to dig up I've had bad experience with parsnips I need to put my jacket on to do that um, I don't know if I showed you the burns so I'm going to get rid of them uh, down here, what have we got? That raspberry plant we bought this year, that's doing all right. It's very thorny. That's doing all right. Strawberries are doing great. Raspberries down here. We've got loads of the autumn raspberries again. If you can see that. So we're going to get some of them, pick some of them. And these strawberries, we need to tidy this up. Because as you can see, they're now starting to spread, which we don't want. And at some point I need to de-weed all this as well, which will be fun. Fig tree is doing bloody amazing. And I mean amazing. We've still got figs on there. We've seen three so far. I haven't had a proper look. It could be more further up. Um, but we're going to... There's another one there. Oh, another one there. Another one. Oh, there's quite a few. So what I'll do is I'm going to move this down and I'll show you a bit later. Um, and just have a general tidy up. Everything's died in these beds. I didn't put anything to keep the moisture in, so they've all died and there's weeds growing. What is that? Can anyone tell me what they are? There's loads of them. Does anyone know? You big slug. Yeah, whatever that is, we gotta get rid of it, I'm guessing. Doesn't look good. Yep, so we need to sort that out as well. Just sort out the plot in general, really. So today's plan is just to have a general tidy up um, and get things ready for winter. So what I'll do is I'll crack on and you can join me in a bit. Right then, folks. I'm knackered. Absolutely knackered. Had a bit of a tidy up. I'll show you what I've done. So the fig tree, we've pulled the main stem down and we've tied him off here so he's not as tall and hopefully he'll grow this way and I'll try and trail him around here um, so yeah we'll see how that goes and then eventually I'll do 
this one as well so it's not as high strawberries we haven't done yet um, just because I'm shattered but the rest of the plot as you can see it's pretty much clear we got the wheelbarrow full of weeds and what have you so all I've done is cleared all the beds moved the one that was up there down here and put the soil in other beds cleared them that was a nightmare with all the parsnips I forgot I forgot how far parsnips go down it's not fun anyway, that's about it really harvest some rhubarb left the leeks in see what they'll do move that bed so it's been a good day and um, we're going to be down here for the morning i'm shattered already so i need to get back into this um, i'm hoping to be down tomorrow and to do some more work on the shed greenhouse thing which we'll show you another time yeah that's the plot guys that is the plot it's a nice day now what i have done guys i've harvested all the stuff um, that we had in the ground um, and I was quite impressed if I'm honest what we've got what I'll do is I'll show you now just to do a little thing so we had some rhubarb so we've got enough to make a pie maybe we got some raspberries both types we got some parsnips look at this beast I've never seen a parsnip so big it's huge so I don't know what I'm going to do with all these parsnips I've given some parsnips and some beetroot to Frank next door but we've got loads these are the beetroots now can anyone tell me will that be all right to eat it's a beetroot or will it have gone woody because it's so bloody big but it hasn't split or anything so we've got quite a few beetroots which i'll probably pickle i think if they're all right if anyone else has got any suggestions let me know but that's probably about it for today guys um I'm not going to be doing much more, just finished tidying up a bit, but I'm hopefully going to be back tomorrow, like I said, and uh, get some work done on the shed. See you. Hi folks, how are we doing? It's the uh, 28th of November, and we're just on our way to get some wood chips for the allotment, so join me in a bit, and I'll show you what I get. Hey then folks, I'm knackered now. I'm at the allotment, um, we've done about five trips, four or five trips for the, uh, the wood chips. We started laying them out. I'll give you a tour now. So the bottom of the plot, that's where we've done most of them. We've got another pile here, another pile there, and another pile here. So what I'm planning on doing, the whole plot is going to be wood chips. Absolutely everything um, will be wood chips. Um, and then the raised beds will go on top of that. It should help level it out and it'll just be a bit neat and stop with the weeds because as you can see we've got loads of grass coming again so we'll cover that up with the wood chips take some of it out and hopefully it should make it a bit easier to manage and then eventually we'll do all this as well i'm going to speak to next door to see if they want a wood chip path or if they still want to keep the grass path just because it's a nightmare to maintain but yeah I'll, uh, I'll crack on and join me in a bit right then folks as you can see the wood chipping has begun I am knackered now uh, it's taken about two hours to get all this out um, but it looks better I think let me know what you think in the comments below <coughs> but hopefully that should help with the weeds for next year and it means we can crack on with um, a bit more planting really than weeding now i know it's not going to get rid of them all but it should help minimize them and it means we can start planning the allotment a bit better as well um i've changed my mind again the gaps between the rows is way too big way too big so we're going to make them smaller just so we can maximize our growing for next year and so on so uh now we've got the wood chips down um, I've taken obviously the two beds that were here up so we're gonna paint them probably as long as we get the weather I'm gonna paint them and 
we'll start from the bottom and slowly work our way up then but more on that next time they need cutting down as well so we need to sort that out and not much has happened with the new shed but more on that next time thanks a lot guys for watching um we've had quite a few subscribers recently so thank you to everyone who's joined us and who everyone who's been following us um if you can like comment and subscribe that would be great we really appreciate it and i will see you next time cheers guys Thank you.